Hey, our friends, in this lesson, we're going to draw a folding surprise. When it's folded, it's going to be a gravestone. Yep. And then when you unfold it, what's going to be inside? A skeleton. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're going to use markers, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, you don't have to use markers if you don't want to, right? Yeah, you can you... use a pencil. Yeah. We're first going to fold our paper in half. We're going to take the top edge and fold it down to the bottom. We've got to do the folding surprise first, right? Yeah. Or the folding part of the folding surprise. <laughs> you go line it up, crease it down the middle, and then out to the edges. Yeah. Then we're going to take this top edge, top flap, and we're going to fold that back up to the top. And line it up, and then down the middle, and out to the edges. Now let's flip it over, and we'll do that fold one more time. Take the top flap, fold it up, now, if you guys need more time, if we're going too fast, remember you can pause the video. Now we're going to take that last fold and we're going to unfold it and then flip it over. Now we have some scratch paper that we're going to put under our drawing paper so that our marker doesn't bleed through and get onto the table. Uh, we just use red because it's easier to see on the camera, but you can use whatever scratch paper you have around your house. Now we're going to first draw the ground, and we're going to draw the ground below the fold, down here at the bottom. I'm going to draw a bumpy line. We're going to draw dirt. And come over it like that. Yeah, good job. Now we're going to draw the tombstone. We're going to draw two lines that come up. Now we've done a folding surprise like this, where we drew a tombstone, and then there were ghosts behind it. This time we're going to draw the same kind of steps, but when you unfold it, the skeleton's going to be there. It's going to be really cool. Now these two lines went up to the fold, and then we stop. Now we're going to draw the top of the tombstone. We're going to draw a U shape, comes over like this, and connects to the other side. All right, we finished drawing the tombstone. Let's unfold our paper. We can flatten it out too, so it's easier to draw on. When we're doing the folding surprise, we want to make sure that we draw everything in between the top fold and the bottom fold. We want to make sure that we don't draw outside of those folds because when it's folded up, then you'll be able to see it. Yeah. All right, so we're first going to draw the skeleton's head up here at the top. So we'll start here on the left side, and we're going to curve in, and we'll curve in over here on the right side also. Yeah, and then we can draw his teeth. I'm gonna draw bumpy U-shaped lines that come over and connect to the other side. Now we're gonna draw his eyes. I'm gonna draw a big circle, and we wanna make sure that this circle is underneath the fold. Make sure that you don't draw it above the fold, or else you'll see the eyes when you close it up like this. See how it's folded? Mm -hmm. and it disappears, and then when it's open, you can see it. All right, now inside, I'm gonna draw another circle. And also over here on this side. And then let's color in the small circle. Next, let's draw the nose. I'm gonna draw an upside down V. And then we'll connect the bottom. I'm gonna draw another line inside and then color in the top shape. All right, now let's jump down here and we'll draw the rest of the tombstone again to complete that shape down at the bottom. Now we're going to draw the skeleton coming out from behind the tombstone. We're going to draw his ribs next. So I'm going to draw a big U shape. He's going to be so cool. Next, let's draw the bone in the middle of his chest. I think that's called the sternum. So it's another U shape. Then we're going to draw a curve coming up, touching the bottom of that U shape, and then back down. Yeah, now let's draw the ribs. On each side, we're going to draw curves that come up to his head, and we'll do the same thing on the right side. Go all the way up, and I'm drawing them curves so that he looks more 3D. That looks awesome, Jack. Now we can draw his backbone. Let's draw two lines coming down. And then let's draw little lines going up. 
Next, let's color in these two triangle shapes on each side of his backbone. Next, we're gonna extend his backbone down further. I'm gonna go a little pretty far. There we go. And then right here at the bottom, we'll connect those lines and I'm gonna draw another short line across. All right, now let's draw his hip bones. We're gonna draw a curve underneath the backbone. Now let's draw another curve, except it's gonna go the other way. Now we're gonna connect the right side and also, or the left side and also the right side. Sometimes I get my sides mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> now let's draw a circle or an oval on each side and then color in those shapes. All right, cool, now we got his body all done. Let's draw his legs and also his arms. I'm first gonna draw a curve, or it looks like a letter C. Then I'm gonna draw two lines coming up, and then we'll draw a curve at the end, or backward C. Okay, now we're gonna draw another bone just like that, but going down. So I'm gonna draw, it looks like an upside down C. Then we'll draw the two lines coming down. And then a curve or a, another C shape at the bottom. Now we're gonna repeat those same steps, but over here for his other leg. So we're gonna come back and draw his feet later. We'll draw a backward C. Then I'm gonna draw two lines coming out from the C. And then we'll connect those two lines with a Another letter C. <laughs> okay, let's do the same thing, except we're gonna have this bone go behind the tombstone. So we'll draw upside down C, and then the two lines coming down and connecting to the tombstone. Looks like he's jumping. Yeah. All right, now let's draw his arm up here. We're gonna repeat all of the same steps. So I'm gonna go a little faster. I'm gonna draw the C shape, two lines coming down, and then another C shape. And then I'm gonna draw another bone coming up. And another line, and then connect at the end with the C. Now this one gets a little close to that top fold, so maybe we'll have the hand aim down. All right, now let's come over here. And this time we're gonna draw the bones a little different. I'm gonna draw them coming down. Draw a C at the end. This one is gonna aim straight out to the side, and that's so that we can draw them hanging on to a pumpkin. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time. All right, Jack, now let's add the feet. We're just gonna keep it really simple. We're gonna draw an upside down U shape, and then connect the end. Then we'll draw a little curve inside. And we can also draw another, let's draw another curve. And then let's draw lines coming out like that. Okay, and then at the very end, let's draw little circles or ovals for the toes. That's pretty simple, right? Yeah. And kind of fun. Let's do the same thing up here, but a slightly different. We're gonna draw the U shape. Upside down U shape. Then we're gonna draw a line connecting it. We'll do that same little curve. This time, let's just add a couple lines coming down. Then we're gonna draw the thumb sticking out to the side. And then I'm gonna draw three more ovals right here. Oh, that looks really cool. Now let's draw his hand over here on this side. So we'll draw a sideways U shape. Connect the side. Draw a little curve and two lines for the bones in the hand. And then we'll draw those oval shapes. And we're gonna leave the thumb off on this side because we're gonna draw a pumpkin. So I'm gonna draw a big oval shape coming up like this. Make sure that the oval doesn't go past the fold up here at the top. This is for the pumpkin he's holding. <laughs> then we could draw two lines coming out for the stem. 
Am I going too fast for you? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I bet I'm going too fast for our friends too. So remember, I'm going to say it again. You can pause the video if you need extra time. All right. Now we got the, the stem finished. Let's, I'm going to draw little eyes. And then I'm going to draw a straight line for the top of the mouth <laughs> and a big curve for the bottom of the mouth. It's a happy pumpkin. Yeah. We could also add another curve inside to make it look more 3D. And then I'm gonna color in that center shape. All right, we finished drawing our skeleton folding surprise, except we still need to do the best part. Color it. Yeah, we need to color it. This part we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same color. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished coloring our folding surprise. And I especially love the extra little details you added. Yeah. A little skull on the tombstone and also a spider on top of the skeleton head. <laughs> I love that when you open it up, he's really up here. And I love the extra spiders and the cobwebs, especially the one in the armpit. Yeah. You can also use your own creativity and add even more things inside of the surprise. Just make sure that they're above the bottom fold and below the top fold. That way when you fold it up, they're hidden. And then when you open it, you see them. Yeah, you can see them. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your folding surprise. Yeah, we did. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you have fun adding more things to your drawing. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.